Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Feature Friday. Of course, my name is Bobby, and this week we're going to be talking about a new edition called Packing Slips. Packing Slips, for those of you that may not be familiar or have heard the term before, is a new feature that we're adding into the template section for invoices. Kind of the backstory there is that uh, we had a lot of folks asking us for a printable version of an invoice or very close to an invoice that lists all the line items. A quick example would be if they're delivering goods to a client. They want the client to be able to sign that they received all of those items. Uh, maybe they just wanted to share a list of products that somebody's delivering but maybe don't show the price. And up until now we didn't really have an option to do that because there was just the invoice template which of course you, you had to provide to your customers. And that included things like prices and just wasn't quite what people were looking for. So let's get into where it's at and what it does. So for those of you unfamiliar, the template section is on the admin page. So click to admin. And then on the left, you'll see PDF email templates. If you click into there and then invoice templates, because again, the packing slips feature is part of the invoice template. You'll see a new tab here. Go ahead and click that. You'll get a kind of rough preview of the template and then hit edit to start editing. Now it does come kind of bootstrapped with a, a default look and you're welcome to make the changes just like you could in, the, in any other template. Uh, what's not showing on my screen right now though is the template tag table, say that three times fast, that shows all of the template tags that you can use. That is going to get added in, just wasn't ready for when I needed to film this, so keep that in mind. We're also adding in a new tag that will show, and it's embedded in a table here, but it's on it's on the slip by default that will show the item, the description, and the quantity, no price. So again, a lot of folks want to be able to use this as kind of a delivery receipt of sorts, or maybe if you have a contractor doing deliveries, this is a way of providing a list without necessarily sharing all the prices and, and that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, the template behaves the same way as all the other templates, so you can get to the HTML by clicking source and mess with the HTML and CSS there if you want. Otherwise, you can use the WYSIWYG and head around and edit things. Now, where is it elsewhere in the system? So again, the packing slips are associated to invoices. So in this case, if you head to an invoice and you click on the PDF or the print options, you'll see packing slip here. If you click that, it'll behave just like any, any other PDF. It'll render it out and you can download it or print it from here. The other nice place that I quickly skipped over is it's located on the quick view. If you click more info here, you can also click PDF and get access to the packing slip from here don't have to go all the way into the invoice if you don't want to. So it's kind of a quick little feature Friday, but I think it's going to be pretty impactful for a lot of folks. Uh, I know it's been asked for for quite a while, and so I'm happy to be able to finally share this with everyone and get it into the system. I hope you enjoyed the feature. Please let us know if you like this kind of stuff, and I'm happy to keep doing it. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.